<laughs> Amanda, what are you doing here? <laughs> there is no need crying over spilled milk. If only you had used your number six, I would have known how to, you know, help you. But it's too late. Now, leave this place immediately. Get out of this place now and get your coffees or else. Amanda, I'll call the security. Security? Yes, sir. Students, why are you not in your classes? What are you doing here? Sir, I am here to pay for school fees. How much is it? You are here to pay for it. I hope you are not joking. Are you? You selfish girl, will you leave her this minute? Uh, what were you saying? Sir, I am not joking. I am serious. I want to pay for school fees. Are you serious? Sir, how much is it? It is 52,500 naira. Okay. So, can we go to your office and make the payment? I hope this is not a joke. Sir, I am not joking. I am very, very serious. Let us go to your office and make the payment. In that case, uh, let's go to my office. Thank you so much. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Galaxy or whatever they call yourself. Hmm? You are proven to be a serial lawbreaker in this world. We have suspended you several, yet you have not changed. The school have sat over your case, and we have decided to take a final decision on your matter. The school have decided to give you an expulsion. From this very minute as I speak to you, leave this school and proceed on your expulsion. Tell your father and your parents this. Now move. Sir, please. Please, temper justice with mercy. I promise that, that from today henceforth, I'll be of good conduct, sir. Please. I hear you loud and clear, young man. But you see, stop crying over spilled milk. The authority of the school have taken a decision, and like I said, it is final. Now move. Sir. Look, will you move now? If I call the security on you, move quickly. Out of the school. Rizzo. Vera. You don't have to. Amangala Zibi, and we no go forget them. Mr. George don't do in words. But we will take revenge, drop one for an email. Mr. George, go collect. As Gala as he leave this school, he go see. As a day like this, at the boy inside. I mean, who, who the rules call the waka go far now? What if that guy name? Now judge of the jungle, I've been a judge of it. Guy, is it that revenge? You need to take him more. He's up, as he's the hot. Yeah, what don't gas? Girls don't collect. I want them there for wanted. Mr. Joe say that he why he he go here. Oh no, wala, no problem. Before why he Mr. George go collect. Mr. George go collect. Everybody go here. We go revenge. Vera, just chill. Everywhere go good. You know it's not fun we come here come catch. Everybody knows say last last. School has come. But anybody who hand this matter, he go collect. Including a nobody, even foul. Everybody. Whether judge of the jungle or judge. In fact, anybody that answer judge inside this school go collect. Best way Sabi George go collect. Best way no Sabi and go collect. Best way here the tea say go collect. Mo, mo, mo take that event, it's up. Oh. I see the odds. My baby, I've been looking for you. What can I do for you? Why are you treating me this way? Honestly, you're not being fair to me at all. Why do you always push me away each time I come around you? Mike, is, is it a crime that I love you? I have told you countless times that I am not here for a relationship. I am here for studies. Why do you keep forcing yourself on me? I clearly understand why you're being mean to me. I know you might have been blinded by that daughter of a witch called Amanda. Don't you ever! Ever in your life, 
call Amanda's name in that manner anywhere close to me. Now let me tell you something. Amanda is not even in your level, in your entire life. Amanda can't be compared to you in all ramifications. Mike, if I were you, I would not be fooled. Am I not more beautiful than her? Neither is she as intelligent as I am. Sometimes I wonder what you think she can do that I can't do for you better. <laughs> what? And how come you forgot to add that you are cheaper than she is? <laughs> you go after men who doesn't know you exist? Huh? <laughs> you know what? I think it's high time I stopped having conversation with people like this. Yes. Mm. Have a nice day. Mike! Mike! Amanda, how are you doing? I'm fine. What about you? I'm fine. I'm... <clears throat> I brought this for you. Mike, why are you giving me all these gifts? Besides, I'm not really comfortable with, with, with all these gifts you're bringing. Why aren't you comfortable? Because I don't know your intentions. And I want to avoid the popular saying of, oh, after everything I did for her. Amanda, you know I can never say such thing to you. I really love you from the depths of my heart. And that is the problem, Mike. This is the exact problem. I've told you, I'm not interested. I'm here to study and I want to concentrate on my studies. And I don't want Shamaka thinking I want to snatch away her boyfriend from <laughs> Amanda, please. There is nothing going on between Chiamaka and I. I swear to God, we are not even close friends. Chamaka has warned me countless times. I can't even count anymore. She has warned me to stay away from her boyfriend. And the funny thing here is, I'm not even interested in any relationship, let alone snatching someone's boyfriend. Ha. Please, oh, you should leave me alone. Please, Amanda. Don't mind the analyze. You are the only one that I love. And I promise not to tamper with your heart. I love you from the depth of my heart. Okay, fine. Fine. Let's assume Chamaka is lying. Well, look at the brighter side here. I mean, she wouldn't call you her boyfriend if she's not in love with you. And if you ask me, I'd suggest you focus on the one who truly loves you and stop chasing shadows. Please, I want to go. Amanda. Why do you hate me so much? Mike, I don't hate you. I can never and I will never hate you. Mike, I, I see you as a brother and that's all. I like you very much. I can never ever hurt you. But I can't accept to be your girlfriend. I'm accepting to be in a relationship with you. I'm not sure about that. And I'm sorry, please. To God, the next time you come between Tia Amanda and uh, Amanda and I, eh? I, the worst is what you get. Wait, you must come in. Leave me alone. What is happening here? Are you mad? Are you crazy? Are you mad? What's wrong with you? What's happening here? No, no, no. no. It's okay. It's silent. Keep your mouth shut. Now, all of you, follow me immediately. Now, come along. Look at his eyes, a rapist, 
If not that I came on time, you would have devoured this innocent, innocent virgin alley. So why is your waist? Oh my god, at this particular point, I'm coming, this is a serious issue. And here? You, I will get to the bottom of this. I will get to the bottom of this. Thank goodness I... Oh my god. You will try about to me. Shut up your mouth. Yes, good afternoon. Are you? Are you? What beef do you have with Chamaka here? Chamaka? Yes. Don't you know? Say you like don't mind now. She was the one that sent him to come and beat me. Is it like your side? No, keep quiet! Sir, she told me before doing it. I'm not leaving this place till I get my job. She's not saying anywhere. She's not saying to me and keep quiet. Look, so you are the one. Eh? Yes, sir. You are the architect of this malevolent actions in my school? Sir, she, she didn't say Listen to me, will you shut up your filthy mouth? So you have the infantry to order this chimpanzee to attack a fellow student, an innocent girl of this I'm not a chimpanzee. I'm not a chimpanzee. My Wait, listen, you hydra-headed wild beast. And the fool, poor fool, you followed her instructions. Sir, will you keep quiet, both of you? Listen to me. You have come to the end of the road in this school. You have come to the end of the road in this school. You'll be punished, both of you. And furthermore, you'll be expected to bring your parents. They will write a letter of undertaking. And if that is not done, you'll be sent out of this school. What nonsense! I'm so, I'm so sorry, my dear. Huh? Sir, please, can I say something now? Will you keep quiet, you liar? Eh? You have not told a single truth all your life. Just look at her eyes. Defiance is written all over you. Now, kneel down, join him there. Join him there on the floor before I get mad at you. So what did I do? Get now? on your knees before I get violent. She's not doing anything. No, she's not doing anything. No. She's not doing anything. I of you. I don't know why she's telling her to kneel down. Out before you be, be part of this punishment. <laughs> you are going to be here until the school closes. So I will I'm not doing anything. No. Shut up your mouth. I don't do anything. She's not doing anything, sir. So I don't want to She's not doing anything, though. I'm telling you, she's not doing anything. I am telling you with my two years, she's not doing anything. Listen to me. I saw ah. everything that happened. You were lying on this innocent girl with her. Sir, so I was not lying on you. You, you, you wanted to defile her. Me. And you, you are the architect. Yes, the case is finished. You will go and get to my time. And they will write a letter of undertaking. Otherwise, you and this school, it is over. Now, I want you to go to the sick bay. Okay? Oh, so they must Don't my waist. They will do. You know, your waist is important to me. Go, go, go. Okay. So you punish them. Of course. Sir, 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 you don't tell her to kneel down. You don't tell her to kneel down. Can I tell a lady okay. you almost violated to kneel? Listen to me. Uh, but, but, but you don't have to kneel down. She's, she's not a lady. Listen to me. You don't have to kneel down, sir. Mike. You are getting too defiant for my liking. We are not here to train wild decompoons, chimpanzees and gorillas. Look at your eyes. Look at the fire in your eyes. Defiance. Oh my goodness.